and speak with me today. Sorry. I wanted to thank you for taking time to speak with me today. Uh, what else? You're... Be my guest. No, just, uh... It's um, a pleasure. Thank would... you for uh, thank you for being interested uh, in us <laughs> into the French metal, French scene. I wanted to ask you, how was the recording process for Beyond the Gates of Hell? How was the recording process? Uh, so we we prepared it uh, pretty well. We we pre uh, we pre recorded it uh, at the drummer's place, you know, to have the like um, a MIDI uh, MIDI uh, kit uh, MIDI uh, drum kit uh, set a uh, MIDI drum set. Sorry, uh, like this we could have um, witness guitars to be sure that everything could fit uh, together and. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I pressed the button. I don't know. And um, after that was the, the 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 solo part for because the the Steph is a new uh, arrived uh, not so lately, uh, not so long ago, uh, a bit before me. For me, I rejoined the band in uh, in September. But anyway another subject so we we prepared it like this and then um we we did the uh, sessions like uh, the the drum took uh, five days in studio then they started the the guitars i played uh, i recorded over the guitar with uh, with Zard, uh, at his uh, studio home studio and uh, like in, in order to save a few days you know on the on the deal because it's uh, it's an expensive uh, but it's always expensive to go uh, in the studio and also we were saving like few uh, few days and uh, that's it after the the, the lyrics uh, the, the the singing part was very good uh, the, it's always frustrating because you know when you have after the the, the product it's uh, it's building up and you you have other ideas and all, but you when you have the deadline in any case, that's always the case. It's, uh, you need to, to to make choices and to, to stop it and to say, okay, that's it, and that will be uh, it. Will be uh, it will be it. What's the tracks I wanted to ask you about is Beast. Yes. What 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 about Beast? I wanted to know uh, how that one came to you and uh, if you could talk about the lyrics on that one beast <laughs> uh actually the, the beast it's the uh, i don't know what to what to say about the actually the the lyrics about beast how did the uh, riff come to you guys? Sorry? How did the riffs come to you guys for that one? So, Turner, in any case, for us, the, the, the process of, uh, of uh, songwriting, it's always um, Tony. So it's the, 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 the rhythmic guitar and, uh, and Zard. For me, like I told you, I'm uh, I'm a bit. Uh, I was there ten years ago. Mm -hmm. I was in Lebanon after for for a long time, and then I, I came back because the the, the issue of Lebanon, and uh, and Zard heard that I was coming back, and he asked me because the the guy who replaced me is uh, he wanted to stop, so. So I didn't have really much time to catch up for the, that was my frustration about the, the recording, let's say, because for me, the time to set up, to set back, uh, for to set up, uh, to settle back in, uh, in France and to catch up with the band and the work and the art and all. Uh, so it was only three months before the recording. Uh, so just, uh, you know, it's the final stuff. Uh, final uh, fine tunings so 
but usually, so I didn't have time to, because it was a process over a year or so for the for the, for the creation, for the writing. So it's always uh, st um, Tony and Zard, so the drummer and the, the rhythmic guitarist. They 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 start with ideas, they, they put it, and then we play it on the on rehearsal, and then we we are like. Um, uh old school band practicing together and then you know having some jams and maybe some idea coming uh, coming out but uh more and more we are we are working on a, on a new uh, method because uh now i moved to paris so we are i'm going there like uh, once a month just to catch up and to be able to to have this uh this moment, but still we are working um, on a long distance. Uh, like, you know, they, they send me uh, tracks and then I work on it and we talk about it and, and stuff like this. But for this one, for Beast, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's always, why, why about Beast? It's, uh, you, you like this one or it's, uh, it, yeah, it's that and Skull Crutcher are my two favorites. Ah, okay, okay, okay. For me, I wanted to open the the album on this one because there is this uh, this drumming uh, part. Uh, so, uh, but uh, the, so the the order, the, it's always a, a hard choice, and uh, I don't know what to say more. After for the lyrics, uh, I can. Can say uh, sometimes uh, Fab uh, Emmanuel Son he, he is in uh, five bands and uh, he's uh, he's always uh, I, I, it's always on the last part of the, of the the, the 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 writing process uh, it's almost <laughs> you know all, he has the the lines the like uh, melodic melodic uh, lines but he doesn't have the the proper uh, lyrics uh, before the, the the recording so sometimes it's like uh, ah okay that's what you will uh, that's what you will say it's, uh, it's a bit uh, uh it's a bit tricky sometimes because we could have added some uh, back voices but he has already everything in mind he, he, he does the, all the job about the several voices and all everything is set up in his head it's uh, it's clear it he has his own uh, his own way of doing doing the job that's it. i also want to ask you as far as playing um what song was the most challenging for you uh actually it's the the single uh, run for your life it's not um it was not like um, the most challenging, but for all of the, for, for on the if you look on the overall of the album, you that's the fastest one. Mm -hmm. And uh, so f when we recorded it, it was like that's the studio uh, song. But actually, the the label uh, they chose uh, they chose it as the single. So now we are we are playing it live. It's, uh, but after I, I can't say that, uh, on my part, there was not much of a challenge except this one, because still it was uh, to be tight and to be fast. Uh, I needed it to be, to, to be, uh, be warmed to up, be, uh, to, to, uh, especially that when I was in Lebanon, my previous band, for my, my band, I, I still have this one, but it's a bit complicated. I was playing finger with finger, so I had to to catch up in three months, like to go back with the pick, because um, for this uh, I, I don't know for for rising steel I'm always playing with the pick. It's uh, it's more uh, more I don't know more neat. It's sound wise, it sounds better, even though I'm a big fan of uh, of Steve Harris uh, with fingers, but you know because it's more there is this. Uh, Trash part sometimes uh, very uh, ta 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 So with the pick, it's uh, it's nice to play like this. And because they want they want it like this, they they want a 
a steady sound, while my band in Lebanon, they want an alive sound, which I like also uh, very much. It's also a thrash band. It's uh, anyway, not uh, we are not talking about Blackium, but you should uh, throw a hear at it. It's a very nice band. So record wise, uh, mostly it was not the, the technique, it was the the time uh, reserved for it, you know, because you can't uh, each day uh, you have what to what has to be done and that's it. It's always the most challenging. You we know our parts, but sometimes it's always like, ah, let's add this, let's try this just because you have uh, you are on the on the day of the recording. So sometimes you have new ideas or you want to try, or sometimes you fail to do some stuff because you didn't work enough for this part. So you need to go on the backup plan. But yeah, uh, um, will there be a, um, you spoke a, a minute about uh, playing live. Um, is, there a, uh, is there a tour in the works in your area? There is a tour, uh, it's a small, it's like uh, four gigs in a row in March. Uh, we have, uh, so it, we will play mostly southwest of France, like it's um, four, four gigs, uh, Bordeaux and Pau and Toulouse. And so it's, uh, it, will be, uh, it will be nice. We have a gig in Lyon in uh, March, in, I think it's the uh, end of uh, February, if I remember well. And we have uh, gigs in uh, September, but we we don't have really a tour prepared. Uh, we we had uh, an opportunity, but it was it was a pay to play, and it was a very uh, a very tough pay. <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's okay. It, you you will have uh, you will be exposed, but. Uh, the price to pay was very high. So I wanted to ask you, um, as beyond that, in working on the album, were there tracks that didn't make the cut for this album? Uh, I think that uh, we we didn't we didn't record one at the end of the day, but uh, it, it's you know because the 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 songs they matured they we we worked on uh like I'm trying not to have this uh, like light <laughs> and Jesus and this one um so because it's a long process and uh, for for the the riffs sometimes they can we we have the riffs and uh we we will maybe uh switch them to another song and so it's it's more like we we have a final uh, song. It's not like we had twenty songs and then no. It's we take we take the the, the 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 nectar out of all the riffs we have, and then when we merge them, we say okay, we have one song, it's good, and then we go to another one. We have time to mature a bit uh, for some uh, uh, more uh, aggressive. Uh, it's more rhythmic after a while, you know, just few. Uh, Few stuff like a uh, few uh, contact, well, not contact time, but more uh, a bit stuff. Uh, I don't know how to say it actually in English. Uh, but just to 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 make it more uh, oh, he's... less line, less linear, less li uh, less linear. So just to make it a bit more uh, some parts, uh, just uh, uh, to ta to ta instead of to ta ta ta. You know, I don't know really how to to say it uh, properly. Sorry for that. Um, so we we were sure of our of our songs that we wrote. I also wanted to ask you. You've had a great career. I wanted to ask you. Uh, what do you feel is the key to longevity in the business? Sorry, I didn't get your questions. What is the key? Key to longevity in the business. You've been in the business for a long time. What do you feel is the yeah. key to sustaining a career? Uh, 
I don't know. It's uh, I, I think it's uh, it should have been more commitment from our side. But it's also always a question of a moment and meeting somebody who will really uh, be your um, your. Uh, come on, dit? Your, your sponsor, you know, sometimes you need. Uh, you, so we, we had the deal with the with the, the label, which is already a very good, good uh, opportunity because they, 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 they chose us. They, so they are helping us uh, record wise and all. Uh, uh, but after to go on tour, it's it's always a commitment. We are. I am almost the youngest of the band. I'm 42 years old. They are 50 something. We all have families, and it's always different uh, or difficult to to go on the road. Either you go on road all the all day long, and you need to have uh, the other part of the family to to support you, uh, or you are big enough to support your family uh, when you are away. So it's uh, it's a bit. Uh, uh, complicated. It's. Uh, I also so want to ask. Uh, during your career, would you say that the release of this album is one of your proudest moments? This album. Yes. I'm pretty. Uh, uh, I'm pretty. Uh, proud of it. Um, um, I, I, really, I loved uh, that when I was coming back from Lebanon, that there was this opportunity uh, to, to to catch up with them and to go back to my uh, to my old band. Because for me, I recorded the, the EP and uh, I was part of the first album, but uh, I didn't record it. But um, I knew half of the album, all the songs. Uh, but I, I saw that they, they they improved the level, and this one I could put a bit of my touch, not much because I didn't have time. But uh, I'm glad that uh, we released this this one. I'm uh, yeah, I'm proud of it. It's uh, it's always uh, it's always nice. It's uh, it's always a nice feeling, especially mm -hmm. that uh, we have pretty much. Uh, Good reviews and uh, the feedback of uh, the people and the crowd, and it's, uh, it's very Absolutely. good. It captured me right mm -hmm. away when I heard the album. Thank you. No, really, because especially that we we were playing the the last album has been released during the COVID, so they didn't have um, the opportunity to defend it on stage. So you know, it's a bit of frustration. So they were playing the same set uh, since uh, three years. There was no really much uh, re renewal of, uh, on it. Now we have this one. Uh, we I hope that we will be able to do some festivals and all. But uh, now with the two years of COVID, uh, the, the, it's very tough to tour and all. It's uh, the price for everything. The, the the vans the camper vans the the the, the RVs the the, the the venues everything is uh, fully booked and overbooked it's uh, it's very complicated it's spe especially in Europe it's uh, I've seen um, even good bands uh, uh, even more uh, not big but bigger than us it's always like four or five days destiny they just left for Finland for a few days it's uh, but I know that they, they, they had to pay a part and you always count on the selling merch to to, to come back uh, like uh, equal, fine, equal uh, at zero at least. <laughs> no <Sure>. deficit. <laughs> That's the, just to have a uh, good vacations with your friends. That will be that, that. That's the deal. That's the that's the drill. Actually. I want to ask you if. Uh... If I was a new band and I was getting ready to come out, what would you? What advice would you give me? The advice, uh, the, the choice I wanted to make when I was twenty. It's uh, <laughs> I, I, I tried to to change to keep a, a job, but not full time. But uh, it didn't work because 
one, two, three, but uh, it's, a, it's a full commitment. You, you can't do it. It's either you want to leave it or you, for, for, for me, I say in French, it's, uh, I, I, I want, uh, I want to leave it. I don't want to live by it, something like this, you know? So I know that I won't get money uh, out of it, but not much. I, I can't make a living out of it. When we, uh, I toured with um, Onslaught, with, uh, when I was with my band uh, in Lebanon, we did a tour in, uh, in Europe for three weeks. And Onslaught, uh, they were touring like uh, eight months, uh, eight months a, a year. It's tough, it's tough. And they, they, don't, uh, they don't have much. Uh, they, it's really a passion. It's, uh, you, it's, it's a commitment. Like I was saying, they, the, the Sai, uh, he, he was telling me, hopefully I have my wife uh, who is taking care of the kids uh, home and all. But after when they come back, uh, they, they have to, to get an uh, uh, empty job. Uh, they, it's, uh, it's not very... Uh, it, there is always the other side of the coin in every uh, situation. So... You, you live your life as a musician, but we are not all uh, Metallica or Muse or stuff like this. Even though we can be very talented, but it's always uh, a moment, a catch. Uh, you need to, 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 be, uh, to, be, to be chosen as the, <laughs> the main. And, uh, it's, uh, it's, a tough, uh, it's a tough world because we are a lot. I also wanted to ask you, uh... Beyond music in your spare time, do you have any hobbies that you enjoy? Do I have what that I enjoy? Sorry. Any hobbies beyond music that you enjoy? Ah, uh, uh, for me, I, I opened the company, so uh, that's my hobby uh, for, the, for the moment. Uh, but I, I'm taking care of uh, my kids. My wife, that's a big part of my, of my life. Hobbies, you know, already uh, music, it's, uh, it's a big commitment. So mm -hmm. I, will do, I will tell you, uh, I'm doing sports and, and you, can't do, uh, you can't do much. And I don't have four life uh, in a day. <laughs> I also want to ask you, um, as far as uh, the future, how do you see the future for the band? But hopefully, uh, lots of uh, gigs. That uh, that's the that's the dream. Now it's, it's uh, we we need gigs. We want gigs. Uh, we we crave for it. We we want we want to tour. We want to because to release album. It's it's okay. It's nice to uh, to 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 play together. It's okay. It's, uh, the, the, the real uh, the real stuff it's to to be on uh, to be live that's the that's the, the but since we are all working it's if we can do uh, several times a year uh, five four, four five gigs in a row like um, four five times a year that would be already a good start more more we tour more we we have uh, uh, we are exposed and we, we will be more uh, asked and uh, but it's uh, and speaking that, of that's it for, for um speaking of exposure speaking of, um what's the best way to get a hold of merchandise and to get a hold of the physical copy uh in the u.s yes uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, on Amazon you should get it. I, I know that for, for in Europe uh, we have uh, Amazon and uh, La Fnac, but it's I don't know for you the equivalent. Uh, Is there a bank? I think it's a kind of. Uh, uh, I don't know if we have a band camp to have it uh, digitally. Uh, at, at, Actually, uh, you you asked me a question. I I, I don't think because uh, I didn't hear uh, about it. Okay. But um, but sh normally on Amazon you should check because 
if Amazon, they have it in France and Italy, it should be open on the American market. And okay. normally we will have we will have a release in Japan because we had um, we have a special uh, uh, Japan uh, edit for one song. So normally, if we are if we are sold in Japan, there, there should be a way of to, of being distributed in the, in the US. <laughs> that would be strange. Actually, I can I, I can uh, ask the the label to know the channel of distribution in uh, in America. Yes. Yeah, please have it sent to me, and I'll make sure uh, when I release this that I'll make it a part of this as well. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I will. Uh, I will ask. Uh, actually, I can ask it, but I don't know if they will answer it uh, now. But uh, I will ask them. And lastly, I wanted to ask you ask if you could give any message to your fans. What would that message be? If I want, if I can send the mess, uh, if you want to send a message to no. Sorry. Okay, I wanted to ask you if you have a message for your fans. Me personally, yes, I love you guys. <laughs> no, really, they are when you when you share this kind of, uh, of stuff. All my bands, it's uh, my two bands because I have the one in Lebanon, but now it's a bit complicated because the, those are in Qatar, some are in Qatar and, uh, and in France, and the other one is in the UK. But uh, we are waiting for the release of this one. But when you when you go on. Uh, in the studio and on on stage and all, it's it's really uh, it's uh, it's good. And for for Rising Steel, we have um, the new uh, let's say lineup. Uh, but the the two uh, the two pillars, uh, Zard and uh, and Tony, uh, music wise, and uh, Emmanuel Son for the for the lyrics, uh, they are the first. Uh, First wave of the of the rising steels, but I I I, I love them uh, since uh, we know them we know each other since uh, fifteen years before the before the band we were already same scene in Grenoble and uh, we we had lots of friends and all it's it's fun. Grenoble it's a small it's a small small family on the on the music uh, and especially on the metal scene. Uh, so uh, no no those, those are those are good guys and uh, I love them and uh, I wanted to thank you personally for delivering a great album uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it thank at you. first listen thank you thank you we are we are honored uh, and pleased to hear that. And please feel free to update me at any time with any new news as it comes about. Anything in the works, please feel free to contact me. Sure. Get the news there, sure. my friend. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bye my friend. Bit. And uh, you See enjoy you as well, my friend. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.